Today we're at the Hepworth Wakefield and we're with a group of second year students from the jazz course at Leeds Conservatoire and we're here to make music in response to the work of Barbara Hepworth. Working on improvised music with one of our experts in that field who's called Mark Sanders. Jamie invited me to work with the students, saying that uh, it was in collaboration with the gallery. The students were responding to Barbara Hepworth's work. I use free improvisation to get the students playing how they feel. Mark's been rehearsing with the students at the Conservatoire for, well, on and off for the last two months. And today we're finally here. There's been about 12 performances and the students have been reacting and responding to different pieces of art throughout the day in different combinations and different formats. absolutely amazing today. We get in an environment like this and you're used to hearing them maybe in a jazz club environment or at the B-side or one of the events that we put on at the Conservatoire and suddenly you realise how in touch they are with their own character, their own kind of spirituality and the way that they're able to bring that to this environment. Our job is to connect with the community. If we can manage to facilitate relationships where artists and promoters and collaborators are coming into our conservatoire and we're able to go out into the community and come into places like this, that's about a real life moment, a real opportunity to make music and create music that means something and also to connect to audiences. In terms of uh, developing the piece, I, I watched a documentary about Barbara Hepworth and I actually noted down the BPMs, the beats per minute, of her hitting the chisel with the hammer. And uh, I decided each drummer would lead a group and uh, he would set those BPMs for the group to follow and have different BPMs in the room. I think they learned to, to express themselves in a deeper way and to explore the instrument and enjoy the fact that they can do anything they want with the instrument now and search and, and try new, new ideas. It's been really fantastic to work with the students and work with Leeds Conservatoire. It's really enjoyable to see young musicians responding to Hepworth's work. She was deeply inspired by music. There's been a real connection between the musicians and, and her sculptures, sometimes a particular work, sometimes a group of works, and they've moved about the galleries. And I think it's just been a really exciting moment for us to see the sculptures in a new way and hopefully for the audiences coming in. Today, that was a real holistic approach. There was a full programme across the whole day, but something exciting at different moments and very varied. And I think we really saw the, the skill and the sort of talent of these young musicians. It's a really wonderful moment to get those different perspectives. And today has just been so exciting. You know, there's been a real connection between the musicians and, and her sculptures, sometimes a particular work, sometimes a group of works, and they've moved about the galleries. And I think it's just been a really exciting moment for us to see the sculptures in a new way and hopefully for the audiences coming in. Performing at the Hepworth has been really good. It's been really uh, interesting to see all of Barbara Hepworth's pieces and walk around and uh, just play off what we're seeing and um, play in such a beautiful venue with such a beautiful sound because it really changes your playing, makes you look at things from a different perspective. Performing at the Hepworth Museum today was so much fun. I haven't really done anything much like it before. Playing to actual sculptures isn't something I've done before and it was really it's quite meditative. The pieces that I've performed are sort of based on the sculptures and how I see the sculptures and what I think of them, but also playing with other people and interacting with other musicians. 
they were all completely improvised and so the rehearsals were more they were less practicing a piece and it was more finding all the different things we could do with our instruments and using the full range of techniques and everything to get the most out of them so like the trio I did with the girls today we didn't practice that it was just on the spot today it's just all about listening to each other really I think what I've learned most from this in terms of music I think a lot about space especially because the acoustics in here it's so big you need to really like listen to everything you've played and let it kind of simmer and have its place before you play something next. Communication has improved. You don't really communicate through talking or through signals as much. It's all about listening. It's just so apparent how much space you have and that you don't have to play. You can use the space as part of your playing. I think that's so much more important than I realised before. Today, the kind of music that they've been making, is it's been really collaborative. They've had to really be in the moment and not just respond to each other. They've not known what kind of combinations they, they were going to be working with until they got here. They made that decision based on how they felt in the moment. And they also had to respond to the room and the acoustics of the room, and most of all, to the, to the piece of art that they were, they were focusing on. So a very different kind of project. Today, in the gallery, we've had children, we've had people of all different ages sit and listen and be really surprised and have an immersive moment with the artwork and with the musicians as well. Mm -hmm.